mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Folks, this happens all the time now. I will literally just wake up at 3 a.m., write down notes, wake up in the morning, type it into a search engine, and there is a huge story that was no one knew about. And I literally, you guys all saw it in the break. I ran around saying, Harry Reid, he's behind it. I called Watson. I said, Harry Reid's behind it. He's like, well, what do you mean? I go, look it up. I just know he is. And then it's Bundy and the Chai Coms and that land. And they list Bundy. And Kit Daniels is going to get the article up in the next 15 minutes. It'll be on Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, if you go to DrudgeReport.com, they've got uh, heavily armed feds surround Nevada Ranch. County Commissioner says, uh, you know, they better get body bags for the supporters. We'll update that article, too. So that either way it gets out to folks. We appreciate Drudge linking to us so much. But I mean, I, I mean, I, I, let, let, oh my gosh, let's go to David Knight out at the Bundy Ranch um, to get any new developments. Uh, I don't know if you've been hearing while you've been on Skype while I've been ranting the last 15 minutes, but do you understand it was hiding in plain view and AP Reuters everywhere? But we have this, the documents that BLM removed off their site. It's all confirmed. The Chinese government and Harry Reid together in business. Talk about how infiltrated we are to take the land. It's all confirmed. Wait till it comes out that Harry Reid with the Chinese government, he's already in bribery scandals and everything else. I mean, this guy is such a mole enemy. I mean, my God, this country is in so much trouble. David Knight, have you heard the devastating news? Yes, I did, Alex. And actually, Neil Corns is not just an official at the BLM. He is the head of the BLM. He's the guy who formerly worked for... Harry Reid. Now we've got a lot of media here. Look at this. We've got uh, now CNN is right underneath the big poles that they erected a couple of days. The helicopter that's here in the background, that's uh, Fox News. I think it's Sean Hannity's uh, crew or something. So now the mainstream media is here. We've, we've kind of got, I guess, the, uh, the media empire is striking back. And so the question is, how are they going to spend this issue here? And there's a lot of... There's no here. way! The communist Chinese government and Harry Reid listing Bundy and how he's got to be off the land by 2014. All of this for two years in dozens of publications. But, 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 but... Now it's blown up. They covered it up. It's, it's sensational. Notice, they, of course, obviously Fox and all of them know this. That's correct. And, and, and we're all hoping, CNN, that we didn't pick up on it. But just like we forced everyone to cover this with Drudge, now we're going to force this again. That's our key role. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Absolutely. That's what's behind it. That's what's underlying it. It's this corporate fascism. But how does this look on the ground? Look at these pictures that I've got here. They put these up. These are the Bundy kids. Uh, this is his son, Ammon. These three pictures, four pictures here. This is when he was tasered. You can see the neck here. It was swollen up like a bee sting. It's more like well a vampire attack. You can see him bleeding through his... Yeah, you can see... It was, was Harry Reid of Nosferatu going to the window uh, at night? Uh, <laughs> uh, you can see him bleeding through his shirt here. This is another brother, Dave Bundy, down here. He was the one who was arrested the uh, night before and thrown to the ground. They uh, eventually let him go. And then this is the ant that they attacked from behind and through the ground. I've been told, I haven't confirmed that with her, that she could not get any local doctors to document uh, her injury. She had to go elsewhere. So this is what it looks like, Alex. His real wealth, he's a small businessman. He's trying to keep this family business, this family farm that's been there for generations in the family, keep it going. This is what he's fighting for. This is his real wealth, is his family here. But the communist want Chinese wanted with Harry Reid. That's right. Look at, look at this. You were just talking to John McAfee. This is what you don't see when they listen to all your Internet stuff. But this is what's really going on. This is behind the, all the NSA snooping and spying. You've got a militarized presence that is there. This is uh, just right out of the Bundy Ranch. You can see they've got their sign there. And in the background, these are the guys standing on the hills. This militarized. And they're not law enforcement. It's BLM. And then here's some more pictures that they put up. So they put up this board here to, to show people, to show the media what's happening here. And I, you know, we have to keep on top of this because this is the story of the people here on the ground that are fighting for their life, for their livelihood. But, I mean, what's incredible is it's known that Harry Reid and the Chinese government are going after this land. Bundy's in the documents. And then that's not been discussed anywhere for two years, and we're blowing it wide open right now with the documents that nobody has that list Bundy that he has to be removed, the last guy standing. And now paramilitary forces to back up Harry Reid and the Chai Coms, and those BLM, look at those men, women, and children with pure hate. They are trained well to destroy America. Stay there. We're going to come right back to David Knight. Two plus hours, Kit Daniels has been doing research on this. When I said I smell Harry Reid involved in this, and 
of compiling AP, Reuters, Breitbart, CNN, uh, New American Magazine, uh, World Net Daily, all about how a weird deal with the Chinese government and Harry Reid and his son, Harry Reid making money off of it. We're going to show you a mainstream news article that shows where the wind farm and solar farm begins is on their ranch, the 600,000 acres. That's the county. That's it right there bordering Arizona. And then we discover by doing searches, BLM documents that are on Google's Wayback Machine, but removed from BLM, but confirmed by Google to, to, to be where they said Bundy's the last one. He's got to be removed. Nothing to do with the tortoise, none of it. In fact, the BLM's going around killing all the tortoises. That came out a year ago. So let's, let, let's go back to the map. We'll blow that up. Now you're saying, okay, well, this is in the news two years ago. What's the big deal? Because Fox News, CNN, that are all there, right on time the militia shows up, you know, as the media shows up. So they can all make it about that. Again, I'm not demonizing the militia. I'm just saying a lot of militias are really federal front groups, and that's come out before. And I'm sure these are good militias. We'll see if they provocateur or how the story changes. Because the media all just arrived. CNN, Fox, MSNBC, you know, antenna trucks, helicopters. It's all arriving. And I believe me, they're not going to want it to come out that Harry Reid and the communist Chinese are involved because Republicans have been bought up by the Chinese government as well. They dictate what Hollywood movies can have now. And so now the media shows up, right as entering the stage, the whole world's a stage, each of his players upon it, William Shakespeare, enters all the militia groups. And some of them I'm sure are good, some of them uh, we've done a little research and well, it'll all come out. The point is, is that, is they want to make it all about a standoff and a war. Instead, the issue is, I said, you know, I bet Harry Reid's involved. Uh, it's just he runs everything in Nevada, and he's super corrupt, and he's always involved in scams, and he's involved in all these bribery scams and payoff scams right now, and Attorney General's protecting him. I want to search Harry Reid, because Democrats are making threatening comments in the area, and they all look really angry. And I've only seen threatening comments before when there's a land scam, and they usually cut locals in on it. And I said, Harry Reid, nothing happens in Nevada lest Harry Reid gets a slice of it. Well, we literally found hundreds of articles. If you type in Harry Reid, solar farm, Chinese, mainstream news, where they're all questioning it in 2012, his involvement in all this, because that was so unseemly. Now, it is the ranch that this guy's got grazing rights to, and the BLM has been told, you do whatever you want to those people. You keep them off, get the cows dead, destroy their water, get the tortoises out of there, it's ours. And then the media, I guarantee you CNN and all them knew this, they're CIA. They have been sent in there to make this about shootouts and the militia. I'll guarantee you, that's going to be what they're going to go with. You watch tonight. Fox is going to do it too, because they're all sold out to the Chinese and the Saudi Arabians and the rest of it. And they're going to go in there and make it about land rights, but only on the surface. While the big issue is, right in the middle of this, is the Chinese government and Harry Reid. We are breaking in 10 minutes the documents, the links. Kit Daniels' article. It's a rush job. We're going to be adding more. We're going to link to it with updates. Watson, be ready to update your article and link to it, the one that's linked on Drudge. County Commissioner says Bundy supporters better have funeral plans. We're going to update that article. There it is, National Journal. Go back to that National Journal for me. How Harry Reid delivered a 235-mile-long power line to Nevada. The Senate Majority Leader's political influence helped get a 235-mile transmission line for renewable energy built across Nevada with the Chinese government financing it, and it's on Cl Cliven Bundy's ranch. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the rest of the story. And that's what this is all about. And we got the documents where they mention running him out. And now they're there running him out. They tried to buy him out and they couldn't do it. This is incredible. It's all Obama and all these energy deals where they insiders get the money. A bunch of insiders get the money off the wind farm in West Texas. I'm not against these energy programs, but half these windmills don't even turn. It's just a scam. Man, Harry Reid is a piece of trash. No wonder he wants our guns. He's a criminal that's robbing America. He wants the people he's robbing disarmed. Robbers tie you down, folks. Now let's go to the Bundy Ranch. I am my head is spinning to see listening devices, cameras, snipers on the hill trained on people, and it's all so the communist Chinese government can steal ranch land from Americans so Harry Reid can get a big fat slice of money. 
Uh, I, I'm just reeling right now. This is about to break. How big do you think this is? And will they sweep it under the rug, David Knight? Well, this is huge, Alex. The research that Kit Daniels has, has found linking Harry Reid to the Bundy Ranch is just amazing. We've had linkage before. And the fact that his former uh, staff member is now the head of BLM, but the fact that they tie it to this particular ranch, and we understand now what's behind it, the Chinese connections for this solar uh, farm that they're going to put out here, that's amazing. But this operates at a lot of different levels. And, of course, at one level, it's what are they going to do on the ground? Are they going to defend the people? Do we have a law enforcement agency here, a sheriff's department that's going to defend the people to do what they're supposed to do? There's going to be No, they'd line up with Chinese soldiers and bayonet citizens, guaranteed. They'll do anything they're told. That's right. We're going to, right after we finish with this report, we're going to go into Vegas. There's going to be a uh, demonstration at the sheriff's office that's at uh, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department on 400 South. Martin Luther King Boulevard in Las Vegas. And of course, there's a lot of people that have gotten the news to go out and to protest the sheriff, at least shame him for not doing his duty, for not protecting the citizens here from outright theft of cattle, and then it will be the theft of their land and the brutalization of the Bundy family that we've seen. I wish so we had two teams out there, because if you go to